Hey you guys, welcome back to another post review video. So I finished this little canvas from Diamond Art Club, you guys, and I had to get something to work on that was little because after my large canvas, I needed a break. And so this gave me what I needed and it's square, you guys. So really, really like that a lot. So again, this is from Diamond Art Club. And here is the image. It's called Modern Stone Age Family, a.k.a. the Flintstones. It's a 13 by 15 inches or a 32.9 by 37.8 centimeters, 24 colors, two ABs, and these are the new square drills, you guys. And I've done several canvases with their new squares, and I love them. So the drills were fantastic. The two colors that were ABs are one, which is 132, and then two, which is 141. And y'all know that white is always in mostly all the DAC canvases. And the other one was this orange one, which I think is really, really pretty. So, um, overall, this canvas gave me nostalgia. I was not one of those kids who grew up watching the Flintstones because it was kind of like an old-fashioned cartoon to me, but I was aware of it. I've seen a couple episodes, and I was a huge fan of, I think the movie came out in the 90s, you guys. I should have researched it before I came on here, but I didn't. Um, it had, I think, John Goodman in there, and Holly Berry was the Flintstones movie, I love that movie. I loved it. I, you know what? I loved it a whole lot. I actually need to show that movie to my son, you guys. And real, real side note, y'all. My son is 10, y'all. And I recently showed him the movie Drumline. The criticism that he gave me, you guys, I don't know if I want to show him anything else that is nostalgia for me. Y'all, if you guys could have been here and heard his commentary, oh my God. But anyways, y'all, like I said, Nostalgia Canvas, I love it, hands down. Um, one thing that I will, like, just say straight out is that I wish that this canvas was a little bit bigger. It's not bad for the size. It looks great. It's nothing wrong with the size. Just for me, I would have preferred it to be a little bit bigger, but, um... It's whatever. Um, I did have one issue though, you guys, and I had to take it on my phone. I took a picture of it because I knew once I put drills on it, it was gonna cover it up. So um, I have noticed this with my Infinite Wisdom Canvas by Diamond Art Club as well, that there's a grid on square canvases. Um, but I did have an area, um, what symbol was that? I think it was E. So all of this like light tannish color here on the canvas, I'm gonna show you guys what it looked like. So it looks like this. And so you see right here, there is no grid on those E's. Like there's no grid there. So it was really hard to place. And then you can see by the Y, there is a grid there. So yeah, the E, there was no grid. That was like one of the only like major issues. The good thing was that it was a simple E. So I was able to easily, you know, navigate around it. Um, and something that I always do to navigate through a square, especially something like this that has a lot of outlining, I do the black outlining first and then I build around it because with squares, I find it more difficult to place drills if you don't have something like a little grid set up, not like a grid set up, but if you don't have like some lines for me set up, like outlining or something, I will, I will have an issue. So that was like the major issue that I had. Um, I love the colors in this canvas, especially you guys, Dino. Like I loved working with the purple, this yellow, this brown, and I didn't even think I would like a brown color, y'all, but I enjoyed working like with this little hut back here and those browns. Um, one of the things that I love with diamond painting is a blue drill. I say it all the time, but y'all, I didn't like placing these blue drills up here in the sky at all. Um, and this canvas is super shiny. And real quick, you guys, we have the ABs, um, the 141, the white one is in Pebbles, little bone hair bow and in Wilma and in 
Betty, is that her name, Betty? Betty's necklace. And then you had a little bit in Dino's um, collar, I think. Little name tag thing. And then you had a whole bunch of AB right here in Fred's um, shirt, dress thing that he wears. So, um, yeah, that was where the ABs were. I am going to say this, though, you guys, and I just have to be completely honest. It's just my opinion and what I think and what I feel and what I like. And I don't like the orange AB on this canvas. Like, it may look good on camera, but for me, it doesn't look good in person. And I asked my uh, son about it, too, because I would consider him, y'all, like an intermediate diamond painter. So he knows, like, terms, and he knows what, you know, what I'm saying when I'm talking about diamond painting. And he was like, Mom, like, those orange drills do not work. And I just, I don't know. I don't like it. I kind of wish that um, this orange, you know, and pebbles and Wilma's hair was in Fred's shirt dress thing. But um, I was going to do that and put them there, but I didn't have enough. So I only had very minimal left. Um... So I just, I wasn't going to have enough to complete it. So I just put the orange there, but I just, I honestly, you guys, I, I do not like it at all. Um, I'm someone who works with my face, like really close to the canvas. So the ABs had that smell that I absolutely hate you guys. And I smelled the smell of them even more because it was so many of them. And I had such the hardest time, I'm not going to lie, you guys, placing the AB drills because they were, um, there were so many of them in like one area. Like when it's just a couple in a small space, it's fine. But when you're placing a lot, I had an issue. Like nothing was working. It was just a nightmare. So I'm glad that that is done. Um, the kit is very beginner friendly. I will say that someone like me who's still new to squares, I'm still practicing with the squares. Um, I liked the size of this, so it was great. Um, I did have a little bit of gapping too, y'all. Let me show y'all. I don't know, because sometimes I be showing my gapping and people say they don't see it when I um, show you guys. But I did have a little bit of gapping, and y'all see my squares ain't even straight. See, you can't even see the gapping. Ugh. Trust me, you guys, There, there is gapping that is there, though. Um... And what else, you guys, real quick? Lastly, y'all, I am not going to show you guys trash, but I will, however, tell you I had a ton of trash. Y'all know how I am with my squares. If there's one little tab or anything on it, I just toss it. So, um, yes, I had a ton, a ton of trash. Um, I did have everything kitted up in this little container here that I got from Amazon. There are these little individual ones. And I did have plenty of every color left i will be saving these drills you guys so stay tuned because i am going to film the video of where i where i and how i store drills right after this because those need to be put away so i can have that container free but anyways you guys that is my post review of my diamond painting of modern stone age family from diamond art club if you guys haven't already make sure that you check out my shorts because i like to post now these new uh, series that I have called Real Quick Post Reviews in 60 seconds or less. I tell you guys all about a canvas and I plan on posting that video for this one today as well. So definitely you guys check it out. And that is it for today's video. So thank you so much for watching the channel. Like, comment, share my videos, you guys. Subscribe, hit that notification bell button to be notified when I post new videos. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching again. And I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye.